Five years ago, Yellowstone took the world by storm. The show not only single-handedly transformed the Western genre, but also revived all the cast members' careers. It turned into a major lifestyle and obsession for fans, as merchandise of the series sold like hotcakes. Inevitably, the show did not remain as a standalone as the showrunners decided to come up with multiple spin-off shows that would turn into a universe. While we were all enjoying ourselves with Yellowstone and preparing for years to come that will be filled with a bunch of Yellowstone series, the most unexpected thing happened. The leading actor of the show, Kevin Costner, decided to leave the show, causing a domino effect in the downfall of the entire series, if not the entire universe. Recently, it was announced that Yellowstone will release part two of its fifth season in November 2024. What about Yellowstone season six, though? Yellowstone Season 5 Part 1 witnessed John Dutton entering politics and eventually becoming the governor of Montana. Up until this point, Jamie was the political tool of the family, working for the Dutton's interests in the political realm. As Jamie started to go far apart from the family though, John's trust in him also faded away, forcing himself to be present in the politics despite hating it. You can imagine how this made Jamie feel. He was hyping himself up to be the governor, so seeing John being nominated and then winning shocked him, to say the least. Still, at the beginning of the season, he did his best to be there for John and even work alongside him, trying to provide him with some consultation on the state business. But John did not have any interest in listening to him. Instead, he and Beth assumed that they could do anything they wanted without facing any challenges. This inevitably caused tension between Jamie and them. Thus, when Sarah entered into his life, offering him a partnership to tackle the Duttons, when her words are the real danger to Montana, Jamie was already on board. With Sarah's support and encouragement, he called Montana State to impeach John, while facing Beth and letting her know that she doesn't know anything about the family's deepest, darkest secrets. In the end, one thing was clear, only one of them would survive. And guess what? It is very likely for John to be one of the victims in this sibling fight as well. This is where we left Yellowstone. As you can see, there is a lot to cover in the next season. I have not even mentioned other storylines involving other characters. In fact, I can confidently say that there needs to be at least three more seasons to get a proper ending to every single storyline and wrap all characters' arcs properly. But this is not what will happen. Instead, Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2 will air and end the story in a probably rushed and abrupt way. Then we will get a brand new show. Yes, you heard it right. Yellowstone will not get a Season 6, but will get a brand new show with a brand new title, 2024. Nevertheless, it is expected that the show to be a direct continuation of Yellowstone's ending. So in a way, it is the Yellowstone Season 6. Therefore, many expect the series to have the majority of the original characters. However, we know very well that Taylor Sheridan hates using the same characters in multiple shows. But if he changes the entire cast, how can this show be the direct continuation of Yellowstone, right? Who knows what's been going on in Sheridan's mind? Either way, 2024 will be released in November 2024, alongside Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2. And at the end of both shows, it is expected that the two to merge somehow and become a single show. This means that 2024 Season 1 will introduce us to the series, while Season 2 will be the real continuation of Yellowstone. But what do you think? Are you happy that instead of Yellowstone Season 6, we will get 2024? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.